Hi guys, today I want to take you for a tour of our second food forest, which is also pretty much new food forest we are just setting up. And I wanted to show you what we do here and how we started with this second project here. And I hope you will like it and you will follow me and see in the future how it's evolving and what's happening here. Okay, so let's go now. So, so we have fenced this second food forest just um, two months ago. We had here the bananas. As you can see, they are older. We also had the lime tree over there. And we had the olive tree and we had the larger trees over there but we didn't have obviously this raised garden beds what you see here and some other stuff so we fence it off um, you will ask maybe why because we've got free ranging birds and they don't really belong here to the garden uh, where the food is growing otherwise they would destroy everything and the roots and probably eat away most of the stuff so yeah as if you followed me already so you will know we have a first food forest over there I just made a, the last tour about a week ago so I will put the link in the description below so this one is two years old now is over there and it's going really good we are having lots of food all the time there and now we just set up this one so put the fence all around with two gates so it will be easier to come from both sides so two gates on this and on the other side and we made the rice garden beds as you can see here and we already planted some stuff like the cranberry hibiscus zucchinis popos some onions in between and also The stuff over there, I will show you in a minute. So you can see the base here. Everything here, what you see is mulch. And that's what we are actually doing at the moment, is putting old cardboards and putting the mulch everywhere. So good stuff can grow on it. As you can see, cardboards and mulch. Everywhere where you can see the mulch, there are cardboards underneath. And this is a really good stuff and good option if you want to stop the weeds. So you can see here over there, there is no cardboard yet. So we didn't touch this part yet and you see all the weeds growing which is, yeah, it's not that very bad but it is much better if you have a good base here which is the mulch and we know from our experience already the, the stuff is growing really good when you put the mold all around the plants uh, and you grow food in it. So, yeah, we've got the mold from uh, local source here. You can check with your nurseries if you can get it. And it's really affordable if you buy it in bulk. So yeah, 
plants, uh, all this part of the garden here, everywhere is are the cardboard and the mulch and all the sides of the fence, or pretty much all of them, we have put some cardboards of course as well underneath and some soil mix of a garden of the of a good soil from the from the bush we have and some mulch and animal manure and we started already to plant stuff in it like the Queensland arrowroot very yummy bulbs to eat some tomatoes here some strawberries we had this carrot tree already before the fence came in and obviously we had the lime tree here as well but the rest pretty much on this side is what we already had so cranberry hibiscus here's some chili going on planted some dragon fruit, some tree spinach, lemongrass, here some Queensland arrowroot as well. I put some melons, few different ones everywhere into the mold already. So we'll see what happens. Here's some young stuff, cassavas over there. So we had obviously the bananas already here. So the popos are new. Let's go through here. So this one is new as well. We set up the raised garden bed. And I put some cassavas, some daikon radish, which is already flowering, and this one will be for the for the seeds. There are some beans in between. So yeah, typical food forest setup. Oh, food forest. My are uh, my method of setup. Maybe some other people do it different way, but that's how we like it and it's working really good. So yeah, again here, some raised bed along the fence, which is really handy because you can grow stuff. Which you also can tie it uh, up into the fence or they will grow along the fence like the beans here so I have the three sisters growing here which is squash which is not doing very well at the moment corn sweet corn and some beans they actually call the lazy housewife beans <laughs> okay put some sunflowers seeds as well just because I love them so much so look at the pretties and here is pump so this is the pumpkin which I grew from cutting from the cutting from the first food forest pumpkin because I really like this one so actually if you want to see how I grew, grew the pumpkin from cutting check the description below I will put a link I made a video about it as well so this one is doing really well I've got some Cape Cusberry here put, just put in and some tree spinach cutting so you still can, send, can see some cardboards here and the mulch we put in the cardboards actually they will stop the weeds obviously and 
and it's also good fertilizer and we will have a good soil and good base for other stuff to grow okay here's some more beans and they're doing really good here are some sweet corn the native bees are happy about the flowers as well. It was very quick work, what we've done here, and it's growing and it make, makes me really happy. Yeah, so here there are no cardboards, but probably I, will, I won't put any because this is a legume, what you see here, some sort of legumes and this is good for the soil. So probably I won't do anything here. I let it so here. Next garden bed, raised garden bed, we put in. And I just took the potatoes out of it. So we had potatoes growing here. And we had a good, actually, it was a good harvest. So I put a link, I will put a link in the description for it as well show you how I grew the potatoes so, so now I've got a nice space for the for something else to grow yeah what else do we have oh another beauty this one is really nice one Yeah, I've got some lufa here growing as well already. We had a very good rain and it was uh, it's everything is growing very good after the rain now. So here my tomatoes. Whole row of tomatoes. Um, I will also put a link in the description. I actually grew the tomatoes from the seeds I saved from the tomatoes I bought at the local markets. So I bought uh, some nice heirloom organic tomatoes. I saved the seeds and look how pretty they grow now. I bought a few different ones and so even now we have Oh, Loki, hello, Baba, and here the Loki again. Yes, Baba. So you see, I bought, I put few different ones, and I also have few different tomatoes now. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. Whole row of tomatoes, and here in front of them, I have put some daikon radish seeds. So, the tomatoes are growing really good. Here, Lufa again. I'm so looking forward to the tomatoes. So, I will put a link in the comments in the description below how I saved the seeds and grew the tomatoes. So, and here we are at the end of the food forest here on the other side. So I have some hikama growing here. Uh, miracle fruit. Again, some tree spinach, some sour soap. These are date palms. And we actually grew them from the dates you buy at the uh, local shops, at the supermarket. They are about now, they are about two meters, over two meters now, two and a half meters now. So doing really well. Here lime tree grown from cutting. Here a little bit messy, but anyway, the um, so the pineapples are growing really nicely here. This is the very first one I have anyway in my life. 
So looking forward to it as well. Yeah, yeah some bananas we put in. There is again like a compost corner. Some other little trees. I will not go into the details now. We will do another tour so I will show you more of it while it's growing. Oh here some cassava wants to grow as well. Look at tree. Here is a mandarin, young mandarin tree. Here we are on the other side here now. This is a sour soap tree also grown from seed with one fruit on it. But the ants want it as well, looks like. I have to do something about it. Probably spray some neem tree oil. Yeah, I put some seed and something is coming. Some sort of melon, don't ask me what kind is it. As I put so many different seeds in. So we will see when it's ready. Yeah, here's some young bananas. So you see lots of funny grass growing here. But I really hope it will be less now because of the cardboards and the mulch. So yeah, here is some cassava as well. This is the other side, what I showed you before. Here are some young pigeon peas. I just put them in like uh, four weeks ago. Some young coffee. Again, a coffee tree. Some constant arrowroot. Lemon grass over there. Here's some more cardboard to put in. So I'm looking forward to all the stuff which will hopefully happily grow here in our second food forest. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you liked the tour today. Um, and I hope you liked all the stuff we have done and we are growing here. So yeah, if you did like it, please put a thumb up and maybe subscribe to our channel to see the other stuff we grow, we will do in the future and cook from the stuff we're growing in our food forest. If you have any tips or comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section below. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!